Hello there beautiful people of the YouTube community. In this video I'm doing day 3 of the 12 days of Christmas series. So pretty much today we have a useless contraption that is pretty fun and looks sort of cool. So pretty much all it does is when a mob comes through the nether, like a zombie pigman, which I'll spawn one, he pretty much gets pushed up by these pistons, through these pistons, and gets set back to where he came from. So it's pretty useless like I said, but pretty fun. So I'll show you. And just like that, he's gone. And sometimes, when it doesn't work, they'll fall down through there and die. So no matter what, they're going to be gone anyways. So, I'm going to show you guys how to build it. And yes, you are going to need a lot of supplies. Now, like I said, it's pretty useless, so you might not want to end up doing this in your world. But we'll get started anyway. So first, build up three blocks from the ground. And then make a 4x4 four four hole for the nether portal. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... There we go. Now you just want to light it up. Now you got your nether portal. Now on one side you just want to line it up with trap doors. So once they spawn through they can fall down. Make sure you place them on the bottom half. I guess top half can work too. There you go. Now you want to get a fence. You don't have to use a cobblestone fence but I think it looks nice. Fill it out from right here. Make it one block wide. And there you go. So now they can't walk down on the pistons that are going to be below. So let's get into that. There we go. Okay, so first, right beneath these pressure plates, you want to place down stone pressure plates. Make four of them like that, so when they fall down, they will hit one of them. Now out of those, you want to place a repeater. Going out of those like that. All in one tick. Place a block right there, and place pistons on top of the blocks. Now on those pistons you want to place a slime block, like that. Now you got that part done. Now you just want to make another 4x4, four four, but this time fill it up with ice. Now you got that. And then you want to make a 1x4, little trench, and then do the same thing again, but this time make it too deep. At the 2D part, you want to place down pistons all on the bottom, then place down slime blocks. Now go ahead and line up your cobblestone fences so it looks nice and they don't escape. And make sure you do not put it by the slime blocks because it will take it with it. Oh, one last thing. With the slime blocks, destroy the side blocks and the blocks behind it so it does not take the whole entire earth with it. There you go. Now you want to get water and fill up this little canal. Now at the end of the fence you want to place two blocks up on both sides. You want to get a trip wire hook and string. Place it on both ends. Hold on, let me clear the weather. There we go. Alrighty, so make sure it's symmetrical on both sides. Do the same thing. Let's see. There we go. They are both hooked up. Now behind both of the blocks, you just want to copy the same thing I'm doing. So go down here, there we go. Now into the piston you want a repeater on 4 ticks and right behind this block you want 4 ticks. Now do the same thing on the other side, 4 ticks on the repeater and just make redstone dust, there we go, and 4 ticks on this repeater, just like that. So now, when a mob comes out, like a zombie pigman, they're just going to be floating along like this, and they're going to get hit up by the sign blocks. Now to build the part where they get pushed into the nether portal, you want to go from the nether portal right here on the very bottom spot of the nether portal, build out till you're right above the sign blocks, and back one. Do the same for the other side. There you go. I'm going to place tripwire hooks on both sides. Now those two are hooked up. Now you want to go ahead and build up like this. Let's see. There we go. Do the same thing for the other side. Just do a little L shape. 
There we go. Like that. Right, hold on. Like, let's see. There we go. Now, right here, you want to place down the pistons. On the pistons, you want to place slime blocks. Like that. Hook up each side with redstone like this. And into the pistons, you want to have a repeater on four ticks. Do the same with the other side. And like that. So I would demonstrate, but I would be going into the nether and that would be wasting time. Now to outline the end right here so they do not escape. You can put it right here and here and put it right there. Make sure you build a couple up so that you don't go through because they can easily escape if you just leave it like this. There we go. Now they are pretty much no matter what going into this trap. But sometimes they get stuck and they do not go through and they just keep bobbing up and down hitting the tripwire and not going anywhere. To fix that you want to get a sign. There we go. Back out of that. And you want to dig down right here. I just destroyed the tripwire. Alrighty, so right here on the sandstone you want to place ice. Well not ice, a sign. Slot. There we go. Now you just want to dig down. And for this, you can either turn it into a farm, a mob crusher, a killing machine, just do whatever you want for right here. I usually just turn it into a killing machine so I don't have to like, hear them anymore. They're just annoying. So I just get rid of them. Gone forever. And I do not farm them because, well, this is creative. So now, either they'll keep floating and they'll get hit by those slime blocks. Ooh, almost went into the nether. And I almost went again. <laughs> Alrighty, so they will either get hit by the slime blocks, get hit up, and pushed by those slime blocks back into there. Or, if they get stuck, they'll keep bobbing up and down, and then slowly they will fall down there. So no matter what, they're stuck going nowhere. And again, for this purpose, I will demonstrate as the zombie pigmen. So, let's just fall down right here. And just keep bobbing up and down like they do. Hit up, and there you go. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and it's pretty useless like I said, but again, it's pretty fun and it's pretty cool.